So you're saying I can ask this cat any question? The cat is connected to the computer. You just type in the question, and it will read his mind. There the answer comes. You're the man! I've been looking for this for weeks. We want to determine each composition of functions given f of x equals 2x minus 1 and g of x equals x squared minus 4. We have f of f of x and g of g of x. Notice here we're composing a function with itself. This may seem odd, but the process is exactly the same. The first step is to write the composition of functions using the alternate form shown below, where we can write f of f of x in the form f of f of x. And now beginning with the inner function, which is f of x, notice how we do not have a numerical input into our function f of x, and therefore we replace f of x with the function rule 2x minus 1, which gives us f of the quantity 2x minus 1. Again, we replace the inner function f of x with the function rule 2x minus 1, and then this becomes the input into our function f of x. And since f of x is equal to 2x minus 1, we substitute 2x minus 1 for x, which gives us 2 times the quantity 2x minus 1 minus 1, and now we simplify. We distribute 2 and then combine like terms. 2 times 2x is 4x, 2 times negative 1 is negative 2, giving us minus 2, and then we have minus 1. Combining like terms, we have 4x minus 3. f of f of x is equal to 4x minus 3. Next we have g of g of x, which we write using the alternate form. Now beginning with the inner function, again notice how we don't have a numerical value to sub into g of x, and therefore we substitute the function rule for g of x, which is x squared minus 4, which gives us g of the quantity x squared minus 4, and now x squared minus 4 becomes the input into our function g of x. And since g of x is equal to x squared minus 4, we substitute x squared minus 4 for x, which gives us the square of the quantity x squared minus 4, and then minus 4. Now we need to multiply this out and combine like terms. So we have two factors of x squared minus 4. And then we still have minus 4. To multiply two binomials, we have four products. 1, 2, 3, and 4. Multiplying x squared times x squared is x to the fourth. Next, we have x squared times negative 4, which is negative 4x squared. The next product is negative 4 times x squared, which is also negative 4x squared. Negative 4x squared plus negative 4x squared is negative 8x squared which gives us minus 8x squared. And then negative 4 times negative 4 is positive 16, giving us plus 16, and we still have minus 4. Combining like terms, we have x to the fourth minus 8x squared, and then 16 minus 4 is 12, giving us plus 12. g of g of x is equal to x to the fourth minus 8x squared plus 12. I hope you found this helpful.